Spicy presenta El Living Room I know, I wonder when they'll come Can't wait to see them I know I'm super excited to see my friends.
Oh, Hi, it's Nelika. so nice to see you. <laughs> so good to see you too. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, I What's have that? something for later. Is that for me? Uh, it's for another friend. Okay. Yeah. Can I hold on to it? Yeah. Okay, I'll for put sure. it here. We'll save it for later. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> Doing good. Yeah, I've missed my friends so much, especially this past year. Yeah, it's been rough. Uh, it's but I'm so thankful for all of my best friends this year. Oh, yeah. Same here. What is a best friend to you? Oh, it's someone you trust, like, implicitly. Someone who you know is going to have your back no matter what. Mm -hmm. For me, it's someone that makes me smile. Also, someone that tells me when I have, when I have lipstick on my teeth. Oh, Do yeah. I have lipstick on my teeth right now, actually? Let me see. A little? I was... Such a bestie. Yeah, you're good. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder what other people think yeah. a bestie is. Should we find out? Yeah, let's find let's out. Let's do it. To my best friend... You are the most courageous and generous person I know. From you, I've learned so much about empathy and compassion for others. And because of you, my life has been so much fuller and greater than I could have ever imagined. I love you for who you were 25 years ago when we first met. And I love you for who you are today. And I will love you for who you will become years and years from now when we are old and gray and still laughing and having fun. I don't know if one note is enough. I feel like I could write books and books and books and books about you and why you mean so much to me, uh, how you've changed my life and <laughs> how you make everything so fun and interesting and fresh. I love you. Quiero darte las gracias por ayudarme a escapar sin conocerme y aceptarme con todas mis fallas y mis malas decisiones. Eh, nadie más se había molestado en hacerlo y sé que te debo mucho, mucho más que la vida. Y no sé cómo te voy a pagar lo que te debo. Pero de alguna manera voy a tratar. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Every day we're together is constant sunshine. And I thank everything that is for you. I love you. Flaco Pipong, el Carbo Perú. El león de los Kerbers, el gato con bota, ir a comer, hacer música, pasar la cabrón, irnos de viaje, pasar la cabrón. En fin, gracias por todo lo bueno. Mucho amor, un abrazo grande para ti. Y gracias. Cada mañana encuentro, sin buscarla, una manera nueva de amarte. Nunca se repiten, se acumulan. Me hacen sentir liviana. To my best friend, you are the most courageous and generous person I know. From you, I've learned so much about empathy and compassion for others. And because of you, my life has been so much fuller and greater than I could have ever imagined. I love you for who you were 25 years ago when we first met, and I love you for who you are today, and I will love you for who you will become years and years from now when we are old and gray and still laughing and having fun. I don't know if one note is enough. I feel like we could write books and books and books and books about you why you mean so much to me, uh, how you've changed my life, and <laughs> how you make everything so fun and interesting and fresh. I love you. Quiero darte las gracias por 
ayudarme a escapar sin conocerme y aceptarme con todas mis fallas y mis malas decisiones. Eh, nadie más se había molestado en hacerlo y sé que te debo mucho, mucho más que la vida. Y no sé cómo te voy a pagar lo que te debo, pero de alguna manera voy a... so grateful to have you in my life. Every day we're together is constant sunshine. And I thank everything that is for you. I love you. El flaco pipón, el calvo pelo, el león de los care bears, el gato con mota, ir a comer, hacer música, Pasar la cabrón, en los de viaje, pasar la cabrón. En fin, gracias por todo lo bueno. Mucho amor, un abrazo grande para ti. Y gracias. Cada mañana encuentro, sin buscarla, una manera nueva de amarte. Nunca se repite, se acumulan. Me hacen sentir libre. That was the first time, like, actually. <laughs> oh, I wonder who is here. Oh, yeah. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Do you know each other? Yeah. We, yes. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Yes. Maybe. Yes. We 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 met we met back we met we were talking a little bit. Yeah, we know each other. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went different in the run through. It. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you both doing? I'm good. good. I'm good. It's really crazy that the start of fall is happening. Yeah. But um, other than that, it's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting kind of hungry. So I think it's time for some munchies. Los munchies. Los munchies. <laughs> We're fully gonna have an ASMR moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's happening, yes. Oh my god. Okay. So I think these are all pretty self-explanatory, but coconut, crackers, pretzels. Um, platanutres, and then these are special. These are called florecitas. Grew up with those. I like the part on the top, not the part on the bottom, but some people disagree. You can experiment and ex have your own experience. And mu munchkins, too. Got fancy ones because they didn't have enough at Dunkin' Donuts. Um, oh my God. <laughs> so we got artisanal ones. So we have like red velvet ones, and they, yeah. So feel free to. Do you have any munchies? Oh my god, I yes. will. Yes. <laughs> and I always think munchies oh taste better well, with a with you. <laughs> game. Are you up for playing a game? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, I hope so. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get my props. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm really excited about this game. This game is called Name That Friend. We have really cute pictures of pets. And these pets are kind of a friend archetype. So you know, you always have like the friend that's always late, the friend that's um, like the fashionista, the one that's like the mansplainer, the, the one that's, yeah, that's always really there for listening. We all have those friends. So we're gonna see, meet these friends and then you're gonna name that friend and you're gonna tell me what kind of friend do you think they are. Okay, right. ready? Okay, here's our first friend. 
Our first friend is Francesca Batista. Francesca Batista. Name that friend. What kind of friend is this? That's the friend you have to take care of at every social gathering. <laughs> <clears throat> you can't, like, they can't be on their own. Yeah. <laughs> she's between brunches. That's what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was going to say one, but yeah. I think it's both. Yeah, it's that <laughs> friend for sure. Nailed it. Okay, here's another friend. This right here is Francisca Guadalupe. Francisca Guadalupe. What kind of friend is she? She's the friend that's always in the most comfortable chair. Like, no matter what room she's in, she finds the best chair. Yeah. Mm. The friend that's like, I'm small, but don't fuck with me. <laughs> like, that's what she would hey. say. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, like, yes. That's me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, she's also the friend that says she's medium, but she's actually large. It's also me. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a yeah. good one. Okay, we have another one. Yeah. Um, how about this one? Right here we have Braulio Valentin. Braulio Valentin, what kind of friend? She's that friend that can pull off any outfit and you hate her. <laughs> She's the friend who like shops at thrift stores, but her dad's a billionaire, you know? <laughs> it's like, why are you wearing this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about this friend over here? This is Rio Azul. Rio Azul, what kind of friend? She's that friend that's like been to every art gallery and knows like the next thing coming up, and you're just like, mm -hmm. how do you, how do you get this? Yeah. 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 The friend on every float of every parade possible, <laughs> I think. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah I could see that for yeah. sure. I think for me this is like. La más latina. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got, yeah. This, she's just, yeah. Frida Kahlo purse, Frida Kahlo earrings, <laughs> too much Frida Kahlo. Okay, so this is Trio Azul, but on a different day. <laughs> <laughs> That's just her grinder profile. <laughs> yeah. What's Trio Azul? Yeah, what kind of friend are they? The friend who grew up extremely Christian and like was repressed and now is in the city and is like a really big slut, you know? <laughs> and is like, you know, really horny. <laughs> um, I know that. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you gonna say anything else? That's yeah, nail on the head right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, goodbye, Rio Azul. See you soon. Okay, this is one of my favorite friends. This is Adriana Isabel. Adriana Isabel. What kind of friend is she? That's the kind of friend where it's like, are we friends or is this like dynamite? Like, I don't know if this is like a relationship or a friend. <laughs> like, we're always flirting. This is that kind of friend. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I can't top that. That's, that's just spot on accurate. <laughs> just like constantly yeah, affectionate. Physical yeah. affection kind of, oh, yeah. <laughs> The teaser. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how about this friend right here? This right here is Fernando Antonio. What kind of friend is Fernando Antonio? She just got back on a fl from a flight on Paris, and she's just <laughs> like, oh, I love travel. <laughs> <laughs> she's the friend who's like, I hate New York. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go back to Ohio. Why, why, why did I move here? Some, yeah. 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 <laughs> Hates New York for yeah, sure. <laughs> she misses the small town. How about this one right here? Soledad del Carmen. Soledad del Carmen. What kind of friend is she? That's the friend that will make way too much noise if you see a show with her. Like <laughs> she will def very vocal at, at like at a, at a show. Okay. <laughs> She's the kind of person that's like you'll look at her and be like, where is she? And she's just thinking about like Twin Peaks and like the cosmos and space. And then you'll ask her and she'll be like, yeah, stuff. <laughs> I, yeah, I could see those two. I think she's also, so that is kind of like the friend that's like, oh my God! And then you're like, what happened? It's like, 
I forgot my eyeliner. <laughs> it's like yeah. something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's very dramatic. Okay, we have one last one. Here is Sofia Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Sofia Marie. What kind of friend is she? Uh, she's the kind of friend who always underdresses and she's like, I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, all right, I'll give you my coat. <laughs> she's literally me anytime there is a snack table. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A good me one. too. Yeah. Oh, that was so fun. Thank you so much for playing. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> that was Los Munchies. So... Dylan, mm -hmm. what can you tell us about your friends? Yes, so um, my friends, um, I love my friends very much, and um, I'm going to now transition into musical comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm gonna, and you know, some of my friends actually helped me write some of this musical comedy material too, so that's kind of. Uh, maybe a little homage to them. I'm very excited. This is, please give it up for Angelica, everyone. This is so cool. So beautiful. Um, I'm going to do some musical comedy, but first I just kind of want to um, start off with a song about my love life. Is that okay? <laughs> okay, cool. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is so vulnerable. Hit it, Daddy. <laughs> Can you believe how tight my pussy is? I can't, but days don't work on me. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for this. Maybe this time I'll be lucky. Tag me. Maybe this time he's gay. Gay, a gay person, hello, sir. Maybe this time he's like, I'm an ally. <laughs> For the first time, but love is love. He eats parfait and my ass. I'm so sorry, I'm this so dirty. My style, my style, he'll appreciate. I'm wearing a butt plug. Thank you, it vibrates my pelvis. He will uh, dislocate. Mmm, daddy. Sorry, not a hetero, no. Not again, not some small town Midwesterner new to New York who's just looking for friends. He was just nice, oh my God. <clears throat> I am over these Brooklyn straight guys who fool me. They seem to trick me every time. Unless you want to fuck me, that's the new official rule of my... I should have picked a different song. This song's about one specific person. It's gotta happen. His name is Jack. Happen sometime. He's a DJ. Maybe this time. Jack, maybe this time. I love... Sir, are, are you gay? I'm a hell of Wait, what? <laughs> I'm Angelica Thorsten. Oh, I'm so sorry. I swim. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. I also do corporate events if you need me for your corporate event. So obviously, I'm a failed musical theater student. And I heard a rumor, I heard a rumor that Lin-Manuel Miranda, the writer of Hamilton, may do a Christmas duet with Michael Buble, which is cool, but also kind of a weird combination of people. I was trying to imagine, like, what would that Christmas duet sound like? I feel like Michael Buble, he would go like this. It would go something like this. <clears throat> a beautiful sight, what happened tonight? Walking in a winter wonderland. In the meadow, we could build a snowman. Then we took the day the circus clown. Let's take a memory to say no, man. Hey, yo, are you ready for the revolution?
I was just ghosted by a white boy who owns a samurai sword. I'm not well, hello. <laughs> I'm not going to unpack that, okay? This next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do some very quick impressions, okay? Here we go, here's the very first impression. <clears throat> That was me and my high school's gay straight alliance. <laughs> this next thing I'm gonna do is, um, okay, this is a high school orchestra conductor conducting a jazz piece. Here we go. <clears throat> now remember, class, for jazz, the eighth notes are not straight. They're swung. You have to swing the rhythm because this is jazz. We're moving and we're grooving because this is jazz. You are not allowed to improvise, but this is still jazz. Take out the girl from Ipanema sheet music now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, can, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I be honest? I've done so many poppers I can no longer read. I, um, I don't know what that says. So this next thing I'm gonna do, there are no transitions in this. I'm just gonna do, a, this is a song about something that happened to me um, in high school, hit it father. <clears throat> One time in high school English, I wrote an essay that scared my English teacher. She called me in at lunch. I came in and I said I felt so depressed and started crying. And she said, you know, when you feel depressed, you can just decide to be happy, then the meeting was over. Yes, thank you. And she's here tonight. Hello, Miss Berenson, good to see you. Just kidding, just kidding. So anyway, everyone, give it up for Pride Month. <laughs> it's four months, look it up. It's four months. So I love Pride Month. I love, I love like queer spaces and queer shows and queer events because they always feel very fun, very freeing, and very accepting. But also, um, what sometimes when I go to queer spaces, there's a voice in my head that I really don't like. I'm trying to squash this voice like a walking, <coughs> I'm so sorry, I'm a top. Okay, um, I'll sometimes, <laughs> I'll walk into the queer space and they're like, welcome to the queer show. <laughs> and I'm like, they're like, uh, I'll walk into the queer space, they're like, welcome to the queer show. I'm like, yes, love, acceptance. Who's top gay? I'm top gay, you better watch out because I'm the, Nev never fight homophobia. Who's top gay? I'm top gay. You better watch it. Never forget Harvey Milk. Who's top gay? I'm top gay. The first pride was a protest. Who's top gay? I'm, there's room for all of us. We don't have to compete. Who's top gay? <laughs> my act is unsustainable. Okay, um, I just broke my ass. So I just kind of want to get a quick gauge of the room. Who here is in therapy? Yes, okay, yes, I'm in therapy, and I feel like my therapist still doesn't know that I'm fundamentally evil. <laughs> you know, she's like, it's trauma. I'm like, I'm Jafar, ha ha! <laughs> you know, I feel like at times mental health can be very up and down. <laughs> so this is a song about how frustrated I feel I am with where I am mental health-wise, um, despite all the work I've done with my therapist. Here we go, let's do this. <laughs> Why am I still fucked up? I literally did a treatment where for three hours I pretended that my mom was a pillow. Then I started crying when my therapist was like, can you tell the pillow you forgive yourself? Why am I still fucked up? One time I left therapy like, I'm healed, hallelujah. An hour later, ah, 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 you're still in hell, you dumb bitch. Why am I still fucked up? I'm gay and I have a gay twin brother who's way less fucked up than me. How fucked up is that? I call him all the time. He's like, sorry, I'm with my friends. Friends! But they're my friends. Why am I still fucked up? One time at a family gathering, made a joke about the sexual tension between my twin brother and I, and it bombed. It was so awkward for my grandma. Oh my God. She survived Japanese internment. Oh my God. Why am I still fucked up? This is true. I was attacked by a white supremacist nine months ago. I tried to get a picture of the guy, but the picture was in selfie mode. Fuck my life! Why am I? It was just of my shirt. It was me like, ah! I don't know what they want from me. It's like the more therapy I, the more fucked up I remain and the richer she becomes. Cha -ching. I don't know what they want from me. It's like the more 
therapy, I I steal her toilet paper. Ha ha! Oh yes, I wipe my ass with my white therapist charm and toilet paper. Ha! Need to stop falling for white men who own a bonsai tree. It's fucked up if you're not just as fucked up as me, but it's okay because that means you're inherently boring. Thank you guys so much. Give it up for Angelica. Thank you. Dylan. Dylan Adler, everyone. <laughs> That was the best answer to what can you tell me about your friends ever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what's that? Ring, 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 ring. I wonder who is calling ring, today. Ring, ring, ring. Kinjama. Ring, 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 ring. Are they here? Oh! Who's there? Bestie Darian! Hola Darian! Hey! Hola Nelika! How are you? Oh my god, I'm good. How are you? I am good. We're here in the WNYC's green space with Fong, your bestie, and also with Dylan. Dylan meet Darian. Oh. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh. oh my god, hi, nice to meet you too. <laughs> oh my god, Fong! Hi, Bestie. How are Hello. you doing? Hey. <laughs> Darren, where are you? Uh, you know, I uh, don't know. There's a window. <laughs> that's good news. You traveled you today. Know, that's all we need. That's right. I think when we did the tech yeah. check, you were in another place, and now you're in a different place. Maybe. Yeah, it kind of just becomes a blur until we die. So it's fine. It's cool. I'm happy. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> So, <laughs> so Darian um, and Fung, since you're besties, I thought we could play another game. I'm really sorry, Dylan. I'm totally going to exclude you in this next that's game. That's okay. That's okay. But you're going to get to know them really well. Yeah. So this game is called, what do you think it's called? What is the, like, the most cliche game? Of do you know your bestie? Yeah, it is. <laughs> do you know your bestie? That's what we're going to play. Do you know your bestie? Okay, and we're gonna do five yes. rounds of Do You Know Your Bestie? And Darren, do you have somewhere to write? Uh, yeah. Oh, great, yes, you're <laughs> super prepared, awesome. Okay, so remember, you don't talk, you just write down your answer, okay? So first round is faves. So we'll start with, okay. What is Fong's favorite snack? What is Fong's favorite snack? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can also guess, Dylan. <laughs> um, Darian says it's seaweed chips. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, so close, Darian. It, barbecue yeah. chips. Very close. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, darn. <laughs> okay, so what is Darian's favorite accessory? Oh, that's so, funny. <laughs> I know. so many. That's not fair. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, oh. Darian's favorite accessory. Uh, Dylan. Um, a, a diamond ring. A diamond ring. Yeah. Okay. We'll see if it's a diamond ring. Hmm. Okay. So, Fong is saying a giant rosary. I would say the same, actually. <laughs> Darian's face is um, telling us it's not the giant rosary, but it is. In fact, yeah, I mean, like necklaces, necklaces rings, yeah. yeah, that counts. Well, the rosary is like such a, a bestie necklace. that he was t telling us a specific, specific one. Yeah. Okay. So round two yeah. uh, is go tos. So, what is Fong's go to karaoke song? I don't even think I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I just if you. We're a karaoke person. We well, are. You've done karaoke in my house. Yeah. I think I was there. I don't you think were, I actually did That's right. You were there. Karaoke. You were laughing at me doing J-Lo. But yeah. yeah, I don't remember you singing now that you say it. But if you were a karaoke person, okay. what would be your go-to karaoke song for Fong? What do you think, Dylan? Dancing on My Own by Robin. Oh, <laughs> yes. That's mine. What do you think, Darian? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, all around me, fly leaf, or it's, it's okay to cry. It's by okay Sophie. to cry, but oh, by Sophie, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Those yes. are like yes. two and three. <laughs> oh, 
tattoos oh, 100%. <laughs> nice. Nicely done, Darian. Okay. World. okay. <laughs> so for go-tos for um, Darian, what is the thing that Darian says that he doesn't that he doesn't like doing, but you often see him doing it? Something that Darian says he uh, doesn't like doing, but then you're like, oh, there you are, doing it again. Am I, am I going to get shady? <laughs> Dylan, what do you think? I, I, I'm sure you have a great answer for this. Oh, my God. Like, I guess mirror time. Mirror time. Mirror time? Yeah. yeah. Pimping. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, just getting gussied up. Uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. How... What do you think, uh, Fong? What is it? What do you think? I mean, I feel like... I mean, I have an answer. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know if Darian's going to like it, but it's the truth, because we're besties. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing I it already. I say this with love. <laughs> All right, should I? Sure. Should I Go for it, yeah. Yeah. Complicated dating. <laughs> <laughs> Complicated dating. Darian, what is in your paper? <laughs> Very juicy. Is it complicated um, dating? <laughs> no, I just put what? working. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> working. <laughs> what? That, that is so sad. That's also me. Oh, God. Okay. I'm so sorry. What could you talk about? Great. Okay. The complicated dating, though, is like, that's the real answer that doesn't go in front of audiences. But, you know, we're here. Uh -huh. We're here, and I definitely need a beer now. So, yeah, cool. I kept it dating. vague, honey. Okay. <laughs> Here's round three. It is about music. So what is Fung's most desired synth that he doesn't own? We're getting oh. angry. We have to. Again, I don't think I know this. I haven't been oh, since Oh, do you have all the synths? <laughs> I haven't had money to buy new synths, so I like haven't tempted myself. Okay, okay. Right. Is there a, um, or a musical thing that, that Fung really wants? Okay. Mm-hmm. We could go beyond gear into skills. Yeah. A two-week run at Rockwood. Like a two-week run of just... Oh, yeah, or like career goals, too. Yeah. I like that, yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe so this? Make <laughs> noise or... Noise. I mean, yeah. Or, or an, another modular. Or another modular. A very safe answer, Darian, I'll have to say, but sure. Yes, another modular. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about what what Fung? What are you, what's the thing that you want? That I you just don't want have? a successful album release. A successful yeah. album release. How oh. smooth. <laughs> when is your new album coming out? Uh, November nineteenth. It's called The Computer Room and it's gonna be out on New Amsterdam Records. Ooh. <laughs> Can't wait to hear that. <laughs> And I heard it's all about friends, right? Yeah, and it's all about my internet friends from back when I was living in my parents' house with uh, the family computer room. So <laughs> all my imaginary internet friends that I would go slay monsters and have epic space battles with. Amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Can't wait to hear that album. What, what's the name of the album? It's called The Computer Room. The Computer Room. Great. Oh. I love what you did. <laughs> okay. Category four is pop culture. So what is a, f a film that makes Fong laugh like no other film? Are Does it have to be a film? Are these questions proving that I am not Fong's bestie? <laughs> <laughs> these are questions I haven't um. thought about. <laughs> so. So it, it doesn't have to be a film. It could be something else. Okay. Or flexible. Okay. Dylan, what do you think? Um, space balls. <laughs> I think, yeah. Everything, anything on YouTube. Oh, I should have put that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not? Oh uh, my gosh, I put Food Wars. Food Wars? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I'm going to watch that later. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Iconic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What is Darian's most problematic artist that he loves? Oh. It's easy, maybe, maybe. I have an answer for that, but I want yeah. to see what Fung says. I want to see what Dylan says. Oh. I feel like I'm pretty vocal about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Warhol? Is that easy problematic? The, okay. Yes, oh, he is. Okay. Okay. And that's a good answer. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Are we ready to share? Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure we got this one. Yeah. Okay. 
both at the same time on the count of Darian three okay. and you four because of the delay. <laughs> One, two, okay. three, four. Yeah, we got yes. it. Yes. <laughs> that was mine too. Great. Okay. Yeah. And the last category is love. What is Fong's ideal partner? Or who is Fong's ideal partner? <laughs> Keeping it simple. <laughs> Fong is. Wait. Yeah. Keeping it broad, too. Okay, Darian, are you ready? Let's see yeah. it. Wow, okay, let's see it. Cuddly yeah. <laughs> nerd. Um, Very specific. Bears. That's such a good friend. <laughs> go. Yes. Good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And the same question for Darian. What is Darian's ideal, as he would say, husband? I don't know how to write this down succinctly. <laughs> yes. Same. I know. Uh, I know or, what this is. Or who I can't is? Put it in who is? I'm asking this to a person that has like 30 Instagram stories a day saying <laughs> husband. Husband, husband. <laughs> yeah, Darren has a new husband. Yeah. Husband on Instagram, like every hour. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. A twink who's chill. Oh, uh, sorry, Sometimes. I forgot to include yeah. you again. Thank you. Uh, a twink? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's chill? Who's chill? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's not inaccurate, right? That is actually pretty accurate. <laughs> wow. Sometimes that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> An artsy yeah. twin. An artsy. <laughs> mm, yeah. Oh, you're, you're writing right now, Darian. Yeah. Oh, not, yeah. Oh, cheating. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what was that? Art guy. An art, art guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Did pretty good. Yeah. The score is. Yeah. Anyone keeping tabs on the score? Was the score? No. Yeah. We're all winners. Oh. All winners, yeah. but I think Dylan actually wins. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give it up for Dylan yeah. Adler. <laughs> Thank you so much, Darian, for joining us wherever you are. Have the best time. I have no time. idea. Thank yeah. you. Until Moses, that I love him. Bye. Will do. Yes. Bye. Bye. I love Darian so much. So as Fong was saying, Fong just made a really cool album that is all about internet friends. So I thought we could hear some of that music from that album today. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Okay, sure. here is Fong Tran, everyone. <laughs>
Fong Tran, everyone. Woo! That's great. Don't forget to check out his new album coming out on the Amsterdam Records at the end, right, of November. Yes. November? 20th? 19th. 19th. Yep. Okay, middle. Also, Christian. I love being greeted by Artsy Twink in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> what you are. Oh, I think Mela is here, which means it's time to meditate. Muy buenas noches, and welcome to another episode of this guided meditations. We're gonna take out everything that stresses us. Así que vamos a cerrar los ojos, let close the eyes, and we're gonna do some breathing exercise. Okay? So everybody, on the count of three, you're gonna uh, take out breath like, hoo, 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 hoo. okay? So let's start, and we're like, one, two, three. <laughs> Beautiful. Be you looked amazing. So everyone that knows me knows, todo el mundo que me conoce sabe, eh, que mi sueño siempre ha sido ser cantante. I have a frustrated dream to be a singer. So, uh, this exercise uh, is going to be all about listening, okay? Así que este ejercicio va a ser todo de escuchar. Gente, vamos a aprender a escuchar. Porque siento que eso es lo que nos falta en esta vida. Okay, so in the count of three, you're going to start listening to the beautiful sounds my voice makes, okay? So, one, two, three... Voy a pedirte que no vuelvas más Siento lo que me dueles tú de mí aquí Adentro y que a su edad sepas bien lo que es Me duele el corazón Everyone, everyone, at the same time. No se puede vivir con tanto veneno. And sing. Okay. So, what I said in the last uh, fragment, in the last uh, line was, No se puede vivir con tanto veneno. And that's what I want you to take with you home. You can't live with so much poison, okay? So good night, everyone. I hope you have a night rest. Buenas noches, mi gente. May now open your eyes. Such a soothing, beautiful voice. <laughs> I hope you're all feeling relaxed. I hope you all had a good time today. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you to WNYC for having me here um, and letting me create this playground for exploration. Um, thank you, Jennifer, wonderful producer, Ricardo, um, Gaines, also Sophie Parker, who created this beautiful plan for me to play. And also, and also let us borrow a lot of things from her studio. Thank you, Masha Colon, for directing this. Thank you, so many more folks at Ernesto for building the set and, and this gorgeous pyramid um, for me to put my instruments on. And thank you so much, Dylan Adler, 
and Fong Tran for being here. Thank you, besties. Thank you, Angelica. <laughs> I think my bestie is also here today. And maybe, Fung, did you bring something for me, my bestie? Oh, yeah. Check yeah. under your chair. Let's see what's here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I know what's here. A ver. That's what's Aha. Uh -huh. Midi, ven acá. ¿Quieres un treat? ¿Tú quieres un treat? Vente. Toma un treat. <laughs> Midi, sit. Sit. <laughs> Do your thing. Okay. Sit. Touch. Touch. Yes, good boy. <laughs> Me, the everyone. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much for coming to my living room. And now, please help me find the rest of my house. Adios. Esto fue el living room.